Alright, so we've had a little bit of drama. I'm now in the airport if you couldn't see, but basically on the way here this morning, my camera just decided not to work. I literally was nearly in tears. I would ring my mom like, what the hell do I do? I bought a new camera, however, I'm not gonna use it unless this one like doesn't work again because like this one's perfectly fine, like it literally has worked fine for literally the past year. So I don't know why all of a sudden it just decided not to work. However, I've bought a new camera, I've got 60 days to return it, so I'm not gonna open it unless this camera decides to break again. And then I'm gonna send this one into repairs when I get back to the UK. We were stressful doing it, which is why I haven't filmed anything because my camera literally wouldn't turn on. However, we're now in the airport. We fly at two o'clock and it's currently quarter to one. So we're gonna go grab some food right now and then we're gonna head to the gate and check in. But I am just so glad my camera's back on. Like actually, this time last year, if you watched my last LA vlog, you'll remember that four days into the holiday last year, I dropped my camera on the floor and it literally smashed in half. So me, LA and cameras just don't go well together. Hi vlog, just gonna update you on the current situation. So we are in our Airbnb right now and the last clip I filmed on this camera was in the airport at the other side. We're now in LA, it's been 11 hours and in that clip I said, me and cameras, me and LA just don't go well together. Now I turn my camera off and it wouldn't turn back on for the entire duration so I just gave up with it. Left it in my bag and I'm like, hopefully when we get to the other side it'll just work. And here we are at the other side. I just know as soon as I end this clip and go to turn it off, it's gonna fuck up again. It's currently seven o'clock US time. So it's literally like 5 a.m. in the UK. But I don't want to get this wrong. So, oh, it's 8 p.m. here. So, in the UK, it is currently 4.14 a.m. Now, I'm tired, not slept, and I'm starving. So, as we were on the plane, as we were like, guys, I just got a really nervous feeling in my stomach. Like, she was literally laid down. We were all just laid, like, practically asleep. And has wakes us all up and like, guys, I just got a really weird feeling in my stomach. Like, something's up with the Airbnb and I was like there's nothing wrong like this guy's like a trusted seller he's verified and everything like a VIP seller on Airbnb so then I, she was like I just feel like we're gonna get there and something's wrong and like something's gonna go wrong and I was like please don't sell this to me because I'm stressed we went to enter the code in the door and it wouldn't work so then obviously we're fiddling around with the door and a lock and then the blind like peeked up and a guy was stood there and like looked through the blind at us and I was like oh shit someone's in there maybe it's the landlord like this guy looked like he could have been the landlord whatever so then we knock on the door and we open and the guy opens and there's four guys stood there with all the bags and like the suitcases in the living area and we were like hi and they're like is this your airbnb and we we're like yeah and they're like this is our airbnb as well and we were like oh fuck like the landlord's double booked turns out what's happened is we've got in touch with the airbnb guy and those guys are staying in the apartment above and we're staying in the one below and the guy owns both of them and he accidentally sent them our address but still sent us our address as well so he sent the same information to us both when he should have changed the flat numbers to the one upstairs basically long story short the guys are now in their apartment wearing ours i'm just really sketched out by the whole situation great start to the trip i'm also probably feeling like this because it is like me running on no sleep for a full fucking 24 hours but that's the situation has us a sidekick and i am now gonna order food and get into bed because i am literally so tired but shout out to the guys upstairs actually they're really fucking sweet good morning everyone welcome to the first of the la vlogs i am so excited for this it's currently 5 51 in the morning obviously we we're all jet lagged we all woke up at like half past four we were waking up through the night but like we officially <laughs> Ella, you dumb bitch! Ella, you dumb bitch! Why did it work? Why are you actually the dumbest bitch alive? Where is it? Today is the first official day we are in LA. Like I said, we woke up like 4 o'clock this morning. And we've all just been laid in bed. I edited up a really cool Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me. But yeah, that's the situation. We are in LA. My camera's working again today. So fingers crossed it stays working for the whole holiday and I don't have to open the new one. But that's the situation. It's now 5 a.m. We're just figuring out where we want to go for breakfast because we are all starving. I think today we're going to go to Target and stuff, get some waters for the apartment. Obviously, Anastasia comes tomorrow basically she had a job to do in london she were originally on our flight she had a job in london that she had to do today so she had to put her flight back a day so she is coming out with us she is staying with us and we are flying back together don't she's not coming don't you worry the followers are going to come streaming in in two days <laughs> um, i'm kidding but we are going to get up have some breakfast we all need to shower i don't know if we're ordering breakfast or going out for breakfast what's the situation well we have just Completely planned it. So we're gonna go, get have showers, get dressed, then we're gonna go to Denny's apparently. And I hope they serve tea because I need tea. And our first stop, of course, Denny's. First timers, right there. <laughs> So Freya over here, as you can see, doesn't know American Road. I didn't think we could make it across in time. We've all made it across, and now she stood over there on her own. 
Right, we've come into Target. It's a tiny little one. We literally walked the entire way here. And it's a smaller one than the massive, like, big one that we went to last year. But we've come for stuff like sun creams and stuff. Because I didn't pack any toiletries apart from my normal, like, moisturisers and stuff. Right, like, we've come to get some Banana sun bond. creams and stuff. Where's, I it's need time to hair. do a little Target shop. I need hair sun cream. I'm like, so sorry. For this. This is how expensive is yes. sun cream? Yes. I'm sorry. <gasps> Okay, I take it back. This target is literally huge. However, it's now the fun part of the process where we literally walk around every single aisle looking at absolutely everything because there's everything that's not in the UK. So we're literally looking at deodorant and being like, oh my god, wow! And it's literally like a stick of deodorant. I mean, see if Chu says we've got some sun cream in the basket already and oh, that a joke. Look at all these plants. Oh my god, I'm in plant heaven. Nowhere in the UK does good fake plants. This is so sad. How sad that we can't take any of that home. Literally, the big plant in the middle is what I need in my bedroom that would look so oh sick. My... Yeah, <gasps> this is what I mean. This is so sad. I just want that big one. Even the little, like, cheese leaf plants. Is that a joke? Bad. Nowhere in the UK does them. So UK, step up your shit. Right, we've got to the part where it's like all this type of food. Any Americans watching my vlogs are going to be uh, so... Oh my god, Ben and Jerry's! Back to what I was saying, any Americans watching my vlog are gonna be so over me doing this, but like these stuff, like the little, oh my god, the hundreds and thousands and stuff like that, and the Hershey's syrup. This is the stuff we don't get in the UK, or if we do, it's like 15 pounds at Urban Outfitters. But bitch, oh my god. And even like the juices and stuff. Oh my god, they, oh my god. <laughs> That is a sick twisted joke. They actually have the vanilla latte drink that I buy in Tesco's in a big ass thing. Like I buy these in the small versions. Oh my god. How is this fair? I've already got a basket. She's put Q-tips and one thing in there. I'm still left with this. This is not how it works. Oh my god, this is the alley that I was just talking about. So all the syrups and pop tarts and stuff, and then all this cereal option. Oh my god, remember last year, anyone that watched my LA vlogs last year was in OG. I literally obsessed over Lucky Charms and the fact that these are 3 89 here and like 15 pounds back home is insane to me. This is just what, what every British person's dreams are made of right here. We are the most like typical annoying people and this target is empty. It's like 8 in the morning so no one's actually it's here actually apart from us. Well it's 9 o'clock but no one's here apart from oh us. God, which like means everyone can hear oh us God, freaking out. These are my absolute favourite sweets in the entire world. I keep saying, if you watched my LA vlogs last year, like a dumb bitch, but I obsessed over these. I bought four packets when we left for the airport, and I ate all four packets on the plane. So when I got back to the UK, I literally had none. Me and Haz went through a stage where we were literally going out of our way to try and find American sweet stores to, to try and find these. And nowhere in the UK sells these flavour. Did someone say Jojo Siwa? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even saying this guy is just a bit annoying. Like, I know I'm being that bitch, but Tom. Target is honestly, it, it blows any supermarket in the UK out of the fucking water. Hi Jojo again! <laughs> it literally is incredible and it's so reasonably priced as well. I'm so jealous. Anyone that is, lives in America and takes Target for granted, please just for one minute while you're watching this vlog, appreciate it. Thanks. Hi Mom. Hey! Target with Baron and Frey, this is like carpool karaoke but in Target. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm like, just normal. Oh wait, here we come for shit a bit further. This is like us walking around to see if you two walking around Tesco going, oh my god, we're in Tesco. I know, literally. So me and Freya have been the sensible ones. We've done the actual food shop, whereas so Ella and, and so sensible, like adults. This is adult diet. We've got chicken nuggets, chips, some coffee, some cereal, some milk. Whereas Ella and Haz, wherever they are, are not being so practical. All right, target trip, success. We need to head back and go to the puppy cafe. I don't want to be that bitch, you know, I've been that bitch all day long in Target saying, oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at that. Guys, if you watched my LA vlogs last year, I'm going to say it again. I got this lip balm and I literally, I used one like every day and I used to take it everywhere with me. And then I saved one for when I was back in the UK. And I then went to work one day and it fell out my pocket whilst I was at work and I lost it. And this is the best lip balm I've ever, ever tried. I love the EOS balls, but to get the ball thing on my lip was just really difficult because it was like super, super thick paste. They do it in like a chapstick version and we don't do these in the UK. We especially don't do the sweet mint flavor. And this is so fucking good. I literally asked Anastasia to get me this in New York and she didn't. So we're back in LA a year later and I've got it again. I am no longer using Carmex. The only reason I started using Carmex was because I ran out of this. I just didn't think my Target experience could get any better and it did. What's that first for? I didn't buy flaming hot cheetos. I just bought normal ones and what's the point now? I mean, my experience was great. I loved it. <laughs> Here we 
Yeah. Oh my god. I'm excited. Alright, so I just put through the vagina. <laughs> My bad. Right, so we have just arrived. <laughs> Right, we're in public pictures. We've just arrived at Santa Monica. Basically, we went to the little dog cafe thing. I don't know if I really filmed much in there. I'll insert some footage that I did get. However, we are now on Santa Monica. I remember last year we went to like a little shopping complex, which is around the corner. So I'm trying to do it by memory and direct us to where we were last year. But I don't know if that's gonna work because me and directions apparently are not that good. In fact, I take that back. Me and directions are really good. However, I don't feel like I'm walking the right way. But we're just gonna wait and see because everyone's trust is in me. So whether we're walking the right way or not, everyone's following. I am literally. The the best tour guide ever. This is where we were trying to go, and we're here. Rate my tour guiding skills on a scale of one to ten. Nine. Nine. Wow. I only have to go places once. Like we came here once for probably like an hour and a half last year, and I managed to direct us all the way back, and I'm really proud of it. If anyone wants to hire me as a tour guide, please do let me know. You know, hit me up. I'll be a tour guide. I don't really know many places, but once I've been there, I keep my bearings and my directions. I think it's because I've got an internal fear of getting lost, especially in a place that I'm not familiar with. We've just come into Pax, and I know last year I would have been all over this, but. Sadly not this year. We're in LA, but where would Freya rather be? <laughs> At work. <laughs> Alright, so we've come into a cute little diner now. It's literally like an American diner. They even gave us paper straws. I don't know if you can see that, but they striped red and white. We've all got the most basic orders. In fact, I'm nearly more of a basic order. I'm annoyed that I didn't bring my swim shorts. I kind of want to go this day. I've got them in the apartment, but like, I've got my underwear on. Catch me in Venice Beach in my pantaloons. The food's just arrived. We even got a little smiley face ketchup moment, you know? I didn't know what to say then. Taste test. <gasps> Uh, what is this? Oh wow, I've hit the jackpot ladies! Yeah, Got an onion that? ring! <laughs> Look at me being a raging tourist, but it's abroad. I love how I'm filming it all like I've not been here. Like last year, guys, did you know? If you watch my LA vlogs last year, you'll have known I were here before. <laughs> Everyone's fuming at me for mentioning my LA vlogs that much, but guys, remember last year I was on this bridge. I apologize, LA vlogs day one, and I'm already being an annoying little bitch, so subscribe. Oh my God, is that Harriet Chadwick gonna jump in? Imagine being in that. Right, so we literally just got back to the Airbnb and this is the phone case that I got. I think it's really groovy. Little wildflower moment, you know? I always see all the LA YouTubers having cases like this and I love the cow prints, so I bought myself that. And then a bit of a different one for me, not in the sense of like it's a hat because I wear hats every day, but I never normally wear hats that like have a curved peak and also it's blue with pink writing on. Obviously it's Stussy. I think it's really, really cool. I have literally a black hat and a white hat on this trip with me and I thought I'd add a blue one to the mix. I really, really like it. So these are my tea purchases. So this is what the hat looks like. I really like Bye. it. I don't normally like this style. Disgusting. Wow, we love that information. Ah! I don't normally like this style of hats. Like when they're not like a straight peak cap, I don't normally like it, but I really, really like this. Kind of wish they did it in other colours because it'd be cool just to have this hat and also love Stussy as a brand. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I got. I think I've burnt my ears. I don't think I've burnt anything else on my body. Of course, I had the shirt on. I had the collar up on my neck. So I think I've not burnt anything but my ears. So that's fun because I didn't put sun cream on my ears. Everyone passed out at like 7 o'clock and I've just been sat editing stuff on my laptop. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'm going to end it here because I'm literally just going to go get in bed. I just need to add this clip in. I've literally edited the vlog up until this point. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash a big thumbs up. I hope you're excited for the start of the LA vlogs. Obviously this marks the official number one. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Not going to say it's every day because I'm going to try and film a bunch of main channel videos stuff as well. Let me know if you like the vlogs in the comments below. I love you a lot and I will chat to you in the morning. I'm so tired. Anastasia's also. I love you a lot. Bye.